These are the practice problems for lesson 14. <clears throat> In this first problem, you are given the size of angle DBC. So this is DBC as 50 degrees. And you're supposed to figure out the other three angles. Well, A is angle ABC. And that angle is supplementary to angle DBC. So it's supplementary to this 50 degree angle. Supplementary means they have to add to 180 degrees. They form a straight line. So this is the adjacent side. You put these two angles together, they are adjacent or right next to each other, and they combine to equal 180 degrees, or half a circle. So this angle has to be 130 degrees. So 50 plus 130 equals 180. Angle A, B, well actually, actually let's do B. Angle E, B, D, E, B, D, similar um, argument that this is a supplementary angle to the 50 degree angle. So this has to also be 130 degrees. Another way to check it is that it is a vertical angle. So if you go across this intersection, this angle is 130 degrees, this angle is 130 degrees. And the last angle, angle A, B, E, A, B, E, is a vertical angle to the first angle, it's 50 degrees, and it's also a supplementary angle to these two angles. So several ways to figure it out, vertical angles, supplementary angles. Problem number one. Problem number two gives you the size of this angle, right? Angle ABC is 19 degrees. This is angle ABC. This angle right here is 19 degrees. And it wants you to explain why the measure of ECF, so ECF, why is that also 19 degrees? Well, think about translation. So if we translate, if we just move this figure this way and translate it, and it's going to map over this figure, so this angle is going to be equal to that angle, which makes this angle 19 degrees. It is a congruent um, image. All the angles in the image are equal to each other, all congruent. In this case, this angle is 19 degrees. The measure of BCD, BCD is also going to be 19 degrees. You can get at that two ways. One is that it's a vertical angle to angle ECF. So this is a vertical angle. You go through the intersection the other side. This angle is going to be 19 degrees. The other way is really the way that they've been pushing in this lesson is that a 180 degree rotation of this angle ABC so the center of rotation is going to be about right there. It's going to rotate over and land right here. So this is a 180 degree rotation. And so the angle is the same, doesn't change. And it is an alternate, alternate interior angle. So this is the interior part and it alternates. It goes over to the other side. So this is an alternate interior angle. It is also the 19 degrees. So a couple ways to get at that. One way is to understand alternate interior angles. The other way is vertical angles. Okay, problem number... Oh, this is just a couple things to write. 180 deg degree rotation of angle ABC. It's a rigid, rigid transformation. It's congruent. It equals 19 degrees. Okay, problem number three gives you two lines that are not parallel. Well, since they're not parallel, these angles are going to be a different size. So to figure out the remaining three angles, you have to do them independently. You can't do one and just say, oh, gee, the four angles down here are the same, because they're not. They're different because they're not parallel. So then you use the idea of supplementary angles, 70 plus what equals 180, that's 110 degrees. Then you can use um, vertical angles. This is a vertical angle. This is a vertical angle. Same thing up here. 53 plus what equals 180 degrees. So it's 53 degrees plus 127 degrees. Supplementary angles, they add to 180 degrees. 
This has to be a 53 degree angle. It's a vertical angle, goes through the intersection. This has to be 127 degrees because it's also a vertical angle, goes through the intersection the other, other way. Also, you can look at them as supplementary angles, adding to 180 degrees. These two are supplementary. These two are supplementary. These two are supplementary. These two angles are vertical, 110 and 110, and these two angles are vertical angles, 70 and 70. So again, different ways to figure out the sizes of those angles. And finally, number four, it says the two figures are copy, copies of each other. What are some ways to tell that they are scaled copies? Well, I made a copy of this image in Doceri. I just moved it up here, and then I just copied it and pasted it around. And you can find out from that that all of these angles are congruent. They are all equal. They're all the same. This angle, this angle up here, this angle right here and this angle down here. So all four angles are congruent. So that's a good start. And the other part of it is, are the sides a multiple of each other? So can you multiply these sides by some factor, the same factor, and get these sides up here? And the answer to that question is yes. Um, if you multiply this, all, each of these sides by three, you'll get this image. So if you look, this side right here goes, doesn't have a label, does it? Huh. This side right here goes up one and over three, and then it does the same thing here, but it does it three times. Up one over three, up one over three, up one over three. So it's three times. This length is two units, so this length has to be six units. One, two, three, four, five, six. This length going in this direction is over one, down two. It's going to happen three times. Over one, down two, over one, down two, over one, down two. Um, this way is a two by three rectangle, so that's going to be three times. Two by three, two by three, two by three. And this one is a diagonal. Three diagonals this way. One, two, three. So you multiply by three to go from figure one to figure two. And the reciprocal is true if you want to go back. So the reciprocal of three is one third. So you multiply by one third to go back from figure two to figure one. So it's one third of each of these lengths gives you the lengths in figure one. So they are similar figures with a scale factor of three and a scale factor of one third. So these are the problems for lesson 14.